Babies Ruin Everything by Matthew Swanson. My baby brother was born today. I know because dad woke me up in the middle of the night. He drove me to my grandma's house and told me I would be a big sister soon. I told him I didn't want to be a big sister, not even a little, but apparently I don't get a vote. At grandma's, the TV is too small, the milk tastes weird, and it's not okay to make yarn forts in the living room. While mom and dad and the baby have a party at the hospital, I am forced to play checkers and eat cold oatmeal. When dad finally picks me up, he does not say hi to my hamster, Leonard. Instead, he tells me 300 things I do not want to know, like how much the baby weighs, how big his head is, how cute he looks when he wrinkles his nose. Mom says I have to be nice to the baby, but it's very, very hard. He can't do a single useful thing. He can't stand on one foot. He can't catch a frisbee. And he can't whistle. Even big head Benny Hogworth can whistle. And he already lost his front teeth. Mom and Dad have a party for the baby with balloons and streamers and pointy hats. The baby doesn't say thank you for the party. He refuses to eat his cake. He won't even open his presents. Clearly, there is something wrong with this baby. I beg Mom to send him back, but she shakes her head and says to me, he's just a baby after all. They put the baby in my room. Even though he's very small, he has a lot of stuff. A picture of three kittens and a fuzzy pink walrus hangs where my Types of Deadly Spiders poster used to be. I explained that my room is too small for me and Leonard and the baby. That maybe the baby should live in the kitchen. But Mom and Dad do not agree. The baby grows. He learns to sit, but not very well. He learns how to eat, but he spills food all over the place. He learns how to pick up things, but then he throws them at me. Why am I the only one who sees the truth? We need a better baby! I want to go to the playground and swing from my ankles, but mom says the baby is taking a nap. I want to go to the zoo and see the monkeys eat bananas, but dad says the baby needs his bath. Instead, we watch boring shows where nothing ever happens. Instead, we go to the baby store and buy 10 gazillion diapers. Instead, we have to whisper while playing zombie attack. Shh! Leonard and I start a club for people who don't like babies. But Mom says I have to let the baby join. We start another club for people with moms who don't understand how clubs are supposed to work. The baby loses the keys to the car. So no one can drive me to a big, to big head Benny's Hogwarts birthday party. I don't like Benny, of course, but I still want to go to his party. There will be ponies at the party, and three kinds of ice cream, and a pinata shaped like a cowboy. Excuse me, but can we please get a 
different baby. Try to remember that he doesn't know any better, says mom. Try to remember he's just a baby. But he's not just a baby. He's a monster. An abomination. A creature from the deep. He wrecks my stuff. He cries all night. He does not understand the importance of parties. It's completely clear, without a doubt, that babies ruin everything. It suddenly occurred to me that maybe this baby just needs a better sister. So I decide to try something new. I try being nice to the baby. But then mom gets mad at me for being nice. Mom may not see it, but this baby has potential. He's related to me after all. So I decide to teach him everything I know. I teach him the planets and the months and different, the difference between frogs and toads. And my favorite letter of the alphabet. I tell him about spaceships and volcanoes and icicles and eggplants and all the kinds of trucks I can remember. The baby is pretty darn smart. It's clear he knows that I'm the greatest sister in the world. The baby and Leonard and I start a club for people who like marshmallows. The baby and I want to go to the zoo. Mom and Dad say we can't because it's raining. The baby and I don't care about the rain. We want to see monkeys eat bananas. We want to see them now. There are two of us and two of them. Mom and Dad are no match for the baby and me. We go to the zoo and it's raining. The monkeys refuse to eat their bananas. The baby cries and screams and ruins everything. But... I don't mind. He's just a baby, after all.